Well, we've got good news and we've got bad news. Bad news, we're late. Good news, hopefully, is it's working. Sorry for the sound. <laughs> Facebook doesn't like me. I'm sure of it. Okay. Can everybody hear me? If you can hear, can you give a thumbs up? If there's anybody out there still. Um, can you? Just yes. Yes. Now, you know, I'm, I'm frustrated because I wasn't here on time, and I'm sorry about that. I worked two hours ahead of time to make sure we could get this thing up and running. I get the computer ready to go. I had everything linked to all the different cameras. Thank you, guys. And it, um, the computer crashed. It crashed. I'm like, I can't believe it. This is crazy. But we're going to have a good program tonight. We're going <laughs> to... And, and I'm really excited that I was able to do this um, solo. So we're able to get this up and running. I do have Justice behind the camera. He is going, if you have any comments, if you have any questions, if I don't explain something as well as I, you know, I, as I can, please uh, uh, ask him and I'll, I'll explain a little bit better. If you can, if you know people that are generally online that are not online because they left because we didn't think we we're going to be up and running, please get the word out to them. Let's see if we can't um, turn this into a, a, a really good program. What I wanted to do first, and Justice, if you can make sure that camera's down there well enough, I, we had a number of people ask me about the balance bar and about putting the balance bar on. So I wanted to take a moment to show you this is a streamlined balance bar. Um, the half-full balance bar is just a little wider. You would still put the top part together first. I'm going to put this together. I want you to see how it's done. I'm going to put it on the unit. And then, uh, then we're going to talk a little bit about balance. And let me tell you, with what I have seen online with regards to balance, there, there's so much out there, and yet I don't know of anything Really, I don't know of anything that's going to improve balance more effectively than what that machine can do. And I know just, just you know, balance for me is so, you know, it's, it's exciting to have this kind of balance. And, it, and it's, it's natural, and I want everybody to be able to enjoy it and understand how you can get it. So, all right, so putting the balance bar together. We've got the bottom part. The bottom part has these welded sleeves. You've got the foam handle part that goes right above it. So you have the little push button. You just hit that push button, and we're going to put these parts together first. And it's just really that simple. Push the button, line it up with the hole, push it up to where it gets to the hole, and it pops out. We're going to take and put the top bar on. Same way. And then what I do is I lift the unit up on the end where the legs are pointed toward me. I just grab the, the two sides. And on the half fold, balance bar is a little wider. It has more movement in it. That's okay. On the half fold, you're going to take the rubber foot off the, the leg to the right of the hinge. Then you're going to skip the first leg, go to the second leg, take that rubber foot off, and then you will slide the balance bar the same way you do the streamlined balance bar. You just skip a leg. So you're going to put it on just a little bit, about an inch. You want to get it on at the same time, both legs so that you don't torque it. And then you just grab it, and I just set it down, and I put the rubber feet back on. If it doesn't go through the first time, just kind of stomp on it. It'll go right through. All right. So, Justice, I had a paper that had customer reviews and testimonials on it. And we've got some really good ones, and I just don't know where I filed them. So, here we go. No?
Well, actually, we've got some really good custom reviews that I put somewhere. And in working with everything else, I don't know what I did with them. So let me just pull out a couple that we've got here. This one is from Ray he says, being a diabetic exercise is vital for me and nothing is more effective than rebounding. That said, it's taken me years to find the solar sizer and it's been my experience that other spring rebounders have a bounce that is way too hard and doesn't feel very good on the joints. So I really, I tried to, a really expensive bungee rebounder made in Germany and it was fun, but it was too soft, couldn't even run on it. After weeks of using it, I noticed I wasn't getting any results. I pulled up a video and it seemed I wasn't getting results because effective workouts require a certain amount of resistance. After giving up for a while, a chiropractor recommended the cellar sizer. I gave it a try. So grateful I did. I noticed results within a few days and week after week I got stronger. My endurance improved, lost weight, improved my balance, lost my double chin, etc., etc. I could go on. I assume it's due to the patented spring. My wife and I both use it and she's looking amazing, as well as our two kids. Our youngest is nonverbal, autistic, and he has a blast on it. Anywho, I highly recommend the Cellar Sizer. Oh, and their online community on Facebook has been a great resource as well. Side note. Uh, that looked like it's on my letterhead. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Side note, I also love the all black design and I'm super happy to get rid of the neon colors of the bungee and the ugly red that was on my last spring rebounder. This one looks so much nicer in our living room. Best of luck. And well, Steve, thank you. I appreciate that, the, the kind comments. Um, and that's another copy of it. I had some others here I'd like to read to you. And this one I just saw on t this morning. I love the cellar sizer and it is amazing how effective it is. A bit different from what most fitness influencers present as you do not need an external weight of any kind. You simply leverage your own weight against the balance of the cellar sizer. Simplicity. Also, this met method of exercise gives you more varied kinds of movement while in general, Barbells, dumbbells, and kettlebells give you up and down movement. The cellar sizer gives you up and down, side to side, front to back, to front movements without the need to change implements. You only change the way you are moving. That's very observant. This, is, this will benefit you with improved balance and proprioception, which is something do not necessarily get with every form of exercise. Want more definition in your quads? Simply do more intense version of the health bounce with a focus on allowing your quads to absorb the effects of the bounce. It's so simple. Just bounce and focus on what you want to achieve. And what he's basically talking about there is as we're bouncing up and down the baby bounce, we can lift our heels up and down. And yes, that's going to work the calf muscle. But we can also bounce up and down this way. And as we're bouncing up and down, we're pushing more down into the mat and we're working the quads and we're working the knees. So. Thank you very much for, for that com comment, gender cap. All right. It has truly been amazing for me. I'm at stage four met metatastic uh, prostate cancer, survivor from nine years ago. I do suffer some neuropathy in my legs. When I first started, I cannot rebound or do the routine without holding on to the bar. Now I barely need to hold on at all. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. That was Karen. And then my husband, my husband has inner ear damage on his left side. He was unable to cellar size without hanging on to a wall for quite some time. Now he's on the cellar sizer daily doing twisting and bouncing with no balance issues. However, walking makes him nauseated. And we talked a little bit about that. I've asked her some, some questions. Oh. Here are the testimonials and the questions. Okay, Lisa says, lovely workout to me. It appears to be easy, but it is not. It really works my entire body, and I believe it works every cell of my body. Many thanks. Thank you, Lisa. 
Shalom Body and Soul Wellness, right? Have been daily using the Cellar Sizer for 15 to 30 minutes for about 10 days. And yes, my balance is better. I notice I can duck and weave around things faster and more adeptly. We're going to talk about that. That is a very important part of balance that's often not truly understood, and that's dynamic balance. That means the nervous system and brain working better. Anti-aging. And yes, I, I agree with that. I just read an article just recently this last week with somebody who was talking about how they re believe that the rebounding helps to increase and improve the telomeres on the end of a, the, the cells, um, which can have a lot to do with, with the, uh, our overall longevity of health. Yes, Justice. Um, we have a question from Stephanie Vito. Um, she, said, or he, she said, I bought my cell sizer a couple of years ago. I love it. How does this affect the spine, especially subluxation and herniated, herniated disc? Herniated. You bet. Subluxation. Okay, well, there's going to be a lot more spinal fluid movement, number one, because you're moving up and down. So is all the fluid in the body. That's fantastic. It is weight bearing, but not jarring. So it's not going to have that impact or jarring effect on the, the spine or on the, um, the vertebral joints. But it is going to create a pumping action. So you're weightless weight, but the weight doesn't have a ballistic impact. It's simply going to cause the cells to expand and contract to become stronger. There are specific movements you can do on the cellar sizer to open up the vertebral joints in the, in the back and help to increase the space between the vertebral joints and the disc. There's other movements that you can do on the cellar sizer that can help the disc move back into position while taking pressure off of that. And we've We've talked about that. We'll do another session on it, but if you want to know more, if you look under our, our YouTube channel and, and do a search for backs, you'll see some phenomenal techniques, including one where you lie down on it. And that takes all the vertical pressure off the disc. Somebody else gently bounces you up and down, so the nerves aren't threatened, the muscles can relax. The moving up and down is a deep massage, and not just a surface massage. And then after moving up and down, they rock side to side, and your vertebral joints start to move side to side to help the disc can start to help them reposition and take pressure off of um, any discomfort that the subluxations may be, be creating. So phenomenal techniques, fantastic technique. It's helped so many people, and I encourage you to take a look at that. But it's, uh, it's the movement. I designed it over 20 years ago where you lie down on the cellar sizer and somebody else is gently bouncing you up and down. You can see how to do that on our DVD, Cellar Size the Elephant Exercise, as well as um, the demonstrations that we've done. It's a good question. Thank you, Justice. All right. Um, Angela writes, hi, Dave, just wanting to let you know I've lost 30 pounds on the Cellar Sizer alone. After I lost my family, I started binging on ice cream. I think we've read this before, but caught myself and started a food journey and now am down almost 30 pounds. Um, everybody in my family is using it. Pictures when I reach my muscle toned body. I'm very proud of myself. Love to you and your family. Dwayne writes, I want to share some of the initial thoughts that I have recently acquired a new bifold cellar sizer to replace my 44 inch Bellicon rebounder. Keep in mind the wider out you go on these mini trampolines, the more movement you have, but it becomes more like a bigger trampoline and you have less support in the middle. So the wider out you go, the more likely your feet are going to pronate. And that uh, lack of support, that, especially when you're jumping high, it leverages that weight on the inside of the ankle, knees, and can cause ankle problems, knee problems, and, and back problems. Yes, Justice, go ahead. We have another question from Shanna Bukrozi, if I said that right. Um, she said- Just give the first name, but that's good. Okay, Shanna, good, good. My hip flexors have created a lack of range of motion. What exercise movements do you recommend to do on my cellar sizes? Hip flexors. Okay, well, let me show you um, real quick and we'll, we'll continue. We're just going to have fun tonight. So um, the gentle moving up and down to warm up the tissue. And if you take your fingers and stick them directly underneath the hip bone, you're going to feel a gentle movement because the cells are expanding and contracting. As we warm up the tissue and increase the circulation, then we can gently rock side to side. As we gently rock side to side, again, put your fingers directly into the bones. Feel those muscles. You're really working. This helps people that have hip problems because it helps strengthen and increase flexibility and circulation to that area. Then this gentle movement right here is going to help as you just, you don't have to torque hard, but as you're just gently twisting, you start to 
loosen up the muscles that wrap all around the hip. And then by taking the feet and, and just moving it in the hip socket area, you just you keep your hip straight ahead. And that starts to loosen up this area even more. So those are all movements again that are that we've talked about previously. So again, feel free to search it on our, our YouTube channel as well. That's good. Okay, I'm a 69-year-old physically active male who unfortunately trashed his knees fairly early in life. As a result, I have had a total of six knee surgeries, which include two partial replacements and a subsequent reconstruction to a total knee replacement. The hospital refers to this as a joint journey. Worst trip you could ever go on. <laughs> I had purchased a Bellicon rebounder in the hope that it would be helpful in rehabbing my knees since it advertises being such the best bounce of all rebounders. The Bellicon is presented as a Mercedes-Benz of rebounders, Swiss designed in German construction. All that prestige comes with a hefty price of $879 plus $39 shipping, a little pricey for most people. Good thing I found a gently used one. After spending some time in storage, I recently began to use my, the Bellicon daily only to find that instead of feeling better and stronger, I was feeling worse. My knees would ache for days afterwards and I was beginning to get very discouraged as I can no longer enjoy any type of impact exercise such as running or racquetball, etc. My hope of enjoying the Bellicon came to a screeching halt. Fortunately, I came across the Cellarsizer website, read all the reviews, had a wonderful phone conversation with David Hall, and a new adventure in health began. David explained to me that due to the larger 44-inch mat of the Bellicon, the deep bounce that it produces, it was actually causing my feet to pronate with each bounce, putting undue lateral stress on my already stressed out knees. I took his advice and ordered the bifold cellar sizer with support bar, very handy for those who require a little bit of more stability. And I've been using it daily for the last week and a half. I'm happy to report that Dave's advice was spot on. My feet are not pronating like they did on the Bellicon and my knees are feeling stronger by the day. A deep or high bounce is not necessary as the th stage three patented spring design exclusive to the cellar sizer provides just the right resistance to produce a healthy, non-jarring bounce. Just be careful to start conservatively and allow your joints and ligaments a chance to adjust to the new regimen of cellar sizing. And that's true with people that have used softer units. The softer units, they may not notice much in the way of results, but when they get on the cellar sizer, all of a sudden they have more resistance. So if you have a weak area, the cellar sizer is very helpful at exposing the weak area. And then all we do is adjust how we approach it a little bit so that those weak areas then become strong areas. And without that resistance, they wouldn't get stronger. So we do have to have that resistance. One second, Justice. Okay, thanks, buddy. Here's the bottom line, especially to those of you who are older and experiencing knee pain and soreness or who have undergone multiple surgeries like me, do yourself a huge favor. Forget all the other models of rebounders out there, regardless of price, and get yourself a genuine cellar sizer. Start with the 10 minutes a day. Have fun doing all the variety of moves that are shown on the DVD that's included, and start your own journey back to optimal cellular health. You'll never regret the purchase, and you'll start to enjoy the sheer joy of bouncing and movement that your body has been craving. Who would have thought that the power of the positive and negative Gs could be so much fun? By the way, these are my honest comments and I have not been paid to submit this initial review. My hope is that my experience will help you to make a proactive choice to get back into a state of health and vitality. Also, I will update my fitness journey from time to time with my cellar sizer. Please do. Dave Hall's cellar sizer is the best investment you can make in your health and the last piece of exercise equipment you will ever need. Happy bouncing correction. Happy cellar sizing. <laughs> and thank you. Thank you so much, Dwayne. That was really special, I appreciate that. Thank you for, uh, hi Dave, thank you for replying. As soon as I sent the email, I explored the app further and realized that you can create your own workout and you have access to all the exercises, including stretches. I immediately put together a stretching routine and almost all the stretches on plus one minute health bounce beginning and end. It's a 13 minute long and I did it yesterday. My arms are weak and my shoulders and neck are chronically stiff. However, I was able to do all the movements on the cellar sizer and I could feel that with every bounce I was able to recalibrate, to relax, check my positioning and maybe stretch a bit further. Every bounce offered relief. This morning I can feel the muscles that have worked but they don't feel sore or stiff. 
unlike with regular exercise, which is why I avoided it. I really can't thank you enough. Seriously, I now have hope again for my health and fitness and especially my mental health. The Solarcizer and Rebounding are so simple, gentle for beginners and effective. I never thought it was possible to experience such real benefits from movement without being an exhausting slog. <laughs> I am not currently taking medication for I am not currently taking medication for ADHD and don't want to. I want my dopamine levels and hormones to be boosted and balanced by cellarcizing for as long as possible. Also, I spoke to you a year ago asking for advice on knock knees. I was so grateful for your help and am now putting your advice into practice. Lots of love and blessings. Claire, thank you, Claire. Thank you all for those beautiful um, comments. And yes, Justice. We have two questions. Um, the first one is from, um, sorry, I don't see in here. The first one is from, uh, Stephanie, and she said, so would you say that solar sizer strengthens the spine? Does it strengthen the spine? It, it strengthens all the supporting muscle ligaments around the spine and also helps to increase fluid movement, um, which is critical. We need to get that spinal fluid movement moving and circulating so we don't have stenosis. We don't have um, other problems that can occur as, as a result of that. There are specific movements we can do for the spine that actually helps increase circulation. One of my favorite, uh, aside from the twist, which I think is the second most important activity we can do, is the, uh, the movement where we spread the feet apart a little bit we rock to the right, drop our shoulder at the same time, rock to the left, drop the shoulder at the same time, and we get this pumping action. And this pumping action really helps with the lymphatic system, helps to loosen up the back. It's really working the vertebral joints in the back. And then we can end up again with that gentle um, twist. Any others? Um, the next question is from Anne, and she said, oh, the next question is from uh, Chris, and he says, hi Dave, do you have any suggestions on the cellular scissors for very tight yeah, yeah. The, um, the, I think, didn't we? I thought we answered that last week. Um, but, but that's good. Okay, so again, rocking side to side, warm up. The twist, but when we twist in the hip socket area, this gentle twist right here can help. And then there's a technique that I, that I teach that um, on the cellular sizer where you literally you bend over and you grab, you grab the frame. So as you grab the frame and you tilt backwards, it's great for the back, but when you lean and lift your foot up and gently, this, this, I, I do this movement, especially when, if I'm feeling stiff and you do it the other way. And that, uh, that's a, a, a great technique as well. And you can use the frame to help with that. And then there's, there's other movements that, that we've, we've shown as well, but, um, uh, just that the hip rock, you're working um, all around the thighs. The, uh, the gentle movement here where if you're bending over, and this is one I do, I'll show you a little technique. If you take your feet and you put your toes right up next to the springs, okay? You can put it on top of the spring cover if you want. But this, if you're barefoot, don't do this. <laughs> but if, if you put it right by the springs, just your toes, it helps keep you in a, in a good pushback position so that you can bend over and just, you know, try to touch down and, you know, you can go down further and further and I like to get to the point where I can touch the, uh, touch the floor, but that, that helps to loosen it as well. Yeah. Um, the next question is from Diana and she says, what type of exercises should I do to help heal my it band on the outside of my knee. I went to a trampoline mm. place and jumped, and afterwards my shins hurt horribly. And on, I am on the left outside of my knee was painful and swollen out. Yeah, those big trampolines are fun, but they torque. When you land and your feet are pronating, that can cause some real, real issues. So working, again, a gentle movement up and down to warm up bending the knees slightly, rocking side to side. The reason we rock side to side, we want to push our knees out a little bit. And as we're rocking side to side, we help to keep the alignment of the knee over the toes of the foot. As we're rocking side to side, you're working the lateral knee, both sides of the knee, which is really going to be helpful 
in helping to reverse some of this, uh, tech, you know, which can happen when the, the feet are pronating. So you can see the difference. So you don't want to bounce like this. You want to bounce, kind of push your knees out a little bit for that support rocking side to side. Uh, eventually, you get to the point where you can do the, well, you can cross like this, cross like this, or get to the point where <laughs> this is one of the ones I do every day, kind of the whippy ski patrol because it's great for the back, the hips, the thighs, and both sides of the knee. Any others? Um, is HIIT, uh, Anne says, is HIIT good for diabetes? Is what? HIIT. Oh, high, in, high intensity training, good for diabetes. Well, it can help lower blood sugar. Um, and, and that's, we've got a, a website, we haven't paid a lot of attention to it, but we have some good people that have shared some good customer reviews on it. It's called um, SellerSizer Diabetes Help.com. So it's with an R at the end, SellerSizer Diabetes Help.com. And we talk, they, they actually talk about some of the experiences that they have to bring their blood sugar levels back in balance, even after a meal while seller sizing. And yes, you can, um, I don't know if I would do a lot of high interval training repetitively with a, consult with your doctor, or health practitioner, because I don't know what your medical condition is. That's very important. But the, uh, just, just the jogging in place or running, you know, just turn on your favorite TV show and just, just enjoy it. Just enjoy the running. And then see, test your blood sugar levels before and after. Just a little 10 minute routine. And, and then share, share your results with, with others. Okay. Will it hurt to do the health bounce with the torn meniscus? That's what I did. Um, I got a little knee wrap and I gently moved up and down to help improve circulation, reduce inflammation and promote faster healing. And then I would do a gentle rocking side to side with my meniscus that they said I had to have surgery with. And then I didn't. <laughs> and then did the, the jumping side to side and eventually I was able to do, I, it took about, took about a year for the, the tendons to heal. Um, the doctors have noticed in my meniscus, I've gotten both horizontal and lateral tears and they call them lesions, but from old injuries, which doesn't surprise me, but I've never had surgery. The, uh, the legs are, you know, they're, they're fine. This was the bad one. <laughs> and cellar size helped dramatically um, in that whole healing process, and I'm so grateful for that. Um, Barbara says, um, I, I, I been having numbness in my hands. Is there anything I can do to get my feeling back? Or carpet tunnel or pinch nerve, don't know. Mm. Those are some good questions. Uh, can you reach into that cupboard, Justice, and see if you see that Dyna ball, that little round ball? Yeah, here, throw that to me. Thank you, thank you. All right, so this is, a, this is called a Dynaflex. You can pick them up on Walmart. It's one of the neatest things that I did on the cellar sizer to help get rid of, um, they call it tennis elbow, but it was tendonitis. Uh, same thing for carpal tunnel type syndrome. This little guy, while you're bouncing, when you're bouncing, you're really pumping circulation. It's weight bearing, which is good. We want to we prime the body. It takes a few minutes to really prime the body with millions of one-way valves in the lymphatic system sucking. So as we're moving up and down, all these valves are starting to suck and pull circulation between the bones, the joints, and the tissue spaces of the body. And that's really important for good health. The cellar sizer helps to release stress and then increase the, the, the G-force or weight. So you have this constant expansion, contraction, expansion, contraction while you're using this. And that helps to feed the circulation. It helped when I had, uh, was trying to manhandle a jackhammer all day long. Um, it just really destroyed my, my elbows and those tendons and nothing would help. I couldn't figure out what to do. I was trying different things. It wasn't working. And when I got one of these guys, it's a gyro. You get them spinning real fast. Excuse me for a minute. Then I 
put it down on the ground. They have a little string you can get with them. You hear that going? You get it going, and then it's working the wrist, the hands, and the uh, elbow. So you just do these movements. Watch a television show. You can get two of them, and you can do it at the same time. And it's, uh, it's something that has really worked well for me. Now, that being said, there's another technique that you can do where you start off with your fingers straight down, gently bouncing up and down until you can feel pressure at the tips of your finger. That's when you know you've primed the body and you're getting that circulation through all the capillaries and different areas. We want that, we want to get to that state so that the lymphatic system is sucking through the movement and up and down. And then we start to move our joints. And so we start to wiggle our hands. And they can get a little worse before they get better. It's kind of like cleaning up a bedroom. But as you're doing this, the, you, you're wiggling again, moving the fingers. It's helping to open up and increase circulation between the, the bones and joints. And so it's a, a few moments down here, just kind of wiggle. And then a few moments up here. I think we talked about this in the, the last program as well. And then back down here again. And then this constant movement helps to restore and increase circulation between those, those bones and joints. Any other questions? All right. Thank you. Those are great questions. I appreciate it. Will it hurt to do the health bounce with the torn meniscus? Okay, we answer that. I know it's a medical, uh, and it's a good idea if you can wear a little extra support while you're building and strengthening that area, it's a good idea. And again, I have to say, because it is a medical condition, consult with your doctor or feel free to share the, what I've shared with you with your doctor. So uh, I know it's a medical question, but I need some form of movement right now. My doctor is, is no impact. Is cellar sizer no impact? Well, it's less impact depending on how you use it than walking on the ground. So if you can't walk on the ground, that might be a problem. Um, but if you can walk on the ground, the cellar sizer doesn't have the impact of walking on the ground. So standing on the cellar sizer, there's a myriad of things we can do that such as gently rocking side to side. And as we're rocking side to side, working the hips, thighs, and the knees, walking in place pushing down into the mat for the thighs and the knees as well. Excellent movements. The gentle baby bounce, there's not an impact. Your, your calf muscles are working. So um, that's a great technique, the twist. There, there, there's, there, there's so many things you can do on the cellar sizer. And again, our Mr. Rebounder app goes through 65 different movements you can do that that address all kinds of things, whether it's shoulders, whether it's the back, whether it's the neck, and be careful with the necks there. This is great, though, because it helps increase circulation and flexibility. And most people don't get enough circulation to the disc in the neck. So um, they're moving, which is good, but this, when you're moving up and down, you're moving fluid up and down, and the fingertips help to push that fluid between the vertebral joints to the disc, and that's those, those are great movements. Shoulder, we've got these movements here, up to here, out to the side. There's all of these different movements you can do that are on the solar side that do not involve impact at all. Yes, Justice. Uh, we have a question from Stephanie. She says, do you prefer barefoot, tennis shoes, or finger shoes? Definitely not tennis shoes. <sighs> um, finger shoes, did they say? Oh, I've seen those. Those are great. Um, real important. We have so many foot problems today as a result of, I believe, we, we don't get enough flexibility to the foot. Shoes are more restrictive. When I have people begin on the cellar sizer, I suggest, unless they have some real serious foot problems, in which case you can wear generally a soft-soled slipper. A soft-soled slipper has a movement still. When we wear shoes, shoes are more restrictive. And you've all heard me talk about this before. And then we go out and try to do something stressful. Again, we tear the fascia and we end up plantar fasciitis, problems with the heel. So we want to help restore flexibility. So I really believe, and I've, I've been an advocate of this ever since the very beginning, 
if you try if you wear shoes and your your feet want to support your natural movement or alignment they're restricted by the shoe the shoe wearing a shoe on a subtle size it can actually cause more stress and and problems with the foot when you're barefoot soft soled slippers or something like what i have on right now which are these very interesting water socks um, we may carry these soon but um, you're doing the movement the foot is allowed to move naturally to support your natural alignment they're not restricted by the shoe so as those muscles ligaments bones the, the fascia as it starts to become more flexible again your foot starts to become healthier and then you do more activities without the risk of damaging it so yes thank you Stephanie I appreciate that um, I do really believe not wearing shoes um, is a, if you can if you can do that is going to help help with the foot but again if you have a medical condition check with your doctor okay okay I have a cellulitis what can I do to lose inches off my waist please well that's a that's a good question um, that's interesting I, I just got another one is HIIT good for type 2 diabetes on a solar sizer hmm. okay um, you want to lose waist okay lose inches around the waist I familiar question I think we talked about it recently we, if we, <laughs> we want to burn calories you're not going to get rid of the inches here by doing sit-ups you'll get strong stomach muscles that nobody can see we've got to burn the fuel and it starts from the inside out for most people so you may not necessarily see results initially but if you're putting a demand on the body and the body needs fuel it's going to burn the fuel it may be the glucose and sugars initially but then it goes after the white adipose tissue it's going to go after the fat best way to burn those calories use the biggest muscles of the body because they have the greatest demand for fuel and do repetitions of it's a high intensity interval training um, which they call HIT, and it's done by you know I've been teaching it for years it's done by bending at the knee slightly keeping your back straight feet flat you're going to run in place pushing down into the mat you're not really lifting your feet up off the mat now you want to again keep your knees spread out pushed out a little bit it's not you don't want to do it like this you want to do it like this and that's something I not sure I've clarified well enough but as you push the knees out and keep your back straight so it keeps the weight on the thigh you're going to get the best results and then you're just going to run fast or walk <laughs> you, walking is good too believe me you're just pushing down into the mat flat-footed or you can do the jamba run and this is awesome I mean you do repetitions of this it won't take long before you're pretty you're going to be feeling the burning in the uh, in the thighs when you're done with the first set just stand there lift the heels up and down it pumps the calf muscle it feeds more oxygen and energy fuel back to the thighs it refills them refuels them and then you can do it again so you're watching your favorite TV show and you can burn a lot of weight um, my daughter Brooklyn has done that a number of times to burn weight off pretty quickly so it's, it's very effective any others okay thank you for the questions and and for your patience um, tonight that's been really great okay hi Dave thanks for the great lessons can you recommend some cellar size routine for runners thanks well, sure with runners it's a little different because you are going to have an impact no question you want to help strengthen the ligaments and the tendons you have you want it depending on if you're a long distance runner or you're a sprinter makes a difference also so if you're a sprinter you want to be able to kick your your legs up really fast and they're going to come down but you want to have to be able to pull them up so on a cellar sizer as you're jogging you can focus more on those ligaments and tendons by tilting backwards a little bit and lifting your knees high so as you're lifting your knees high it's going to feel very different on the ground but you're still conditioning the body 
to get those knees up when you're when you're running and and that's going to be helpful too and so it's just like this but tilt backwards a little bit and just run and then when you're on the ground and you're running you're going to be you know a little bit more forward but by tilting backwards you're also strengthening your body in an ultra position so it's going to be your balance is going to be better and that's also going to affect your performance um, if you're doing more long distance running you want to really focus on opening up the capillaries and improving the circulation in the thighs and that's jump run <laughs> and you just build up those up you're going to uh your ability of the body to draw on fuel and energy and maintain you know increase my mitochondria too but um you want to have really good circulation and that i've even had doctors tell me that jamba runs so intense it can grow new capillaries and that that can be helpful too okay yes Great question. There's um, lower back issues, and we're told up to 80% of Americans are going to have lower back problems. That's where we have such a concentration and impact on the day-to-day -day basis. We don't get enough circulation to the discs. The discs begin to shrink. We get more pressure on the nerves, less flexibility in the back. So we want to open up the vertebral joints of the back. And there's, there's a number of different techniques we can do for that. So beginning again, moving up and down. So we prime the body. As we're priming the body with all these millions of one-way valves in the lymph system, it's sucking so that any movement causes better circulation. We want to prime the body. That's two to three minutes of the warm-up anyway. And then rocking side to side, pushing down into the mat with our heel a little bit. So our hips are dropping into the mat. Now from there, we can lift the shoulders up and down. So that's the second movement. Start off just side to side then we get to the movement up and down wonderful technique guys this is just really really helpful um, and that's that's the beginning we can do the twist that's great for the lower back now we can target the lower back and that's done one of the ways that I teach that is to take the right elbow stick it up over your head lean to the left open up the vertical joints along the back the moment you lean to the left, you, the moment you feel any tension, stop, hold the position, gently move up and down, allow the movement up and down to massage that tension, just very gentle. And that starts to open it up as you're moving fluid up and down through the body as well. Very different from typical stretching movements. You're not just stretching, you're causing the cell tissue to expand and contract while you're moving fluid wonderful there's nothing what else can you do to, to accomplish that and we did i love working with chiropractors that when i share these techniques they know they get it and then they can help their uh, their patients and i love working with them so again taking the elbow up leaning up a little bit to the left then taking the right leg this would be the next step taking the right leg and crossing it in front of the left just like that that gentle movement you will feel it in the lower back. It literally starts to open up very gently, taking opening up space as you're helping to increase that flexibility. And then we do the same thing the other way. And then we get to the point where we can cross in front. I won't say most people, but most people I know, um, generally one side is a little tighter than the other. And that's the side you're going to spend a little bit more time with. But again, the cellular sizer balances the body. You're not really favoring one side of the body over the other as you're moving up and down. So these movements can help support more of a natural alignment as well. Um, and then there's techniques that we can do to strengthen the back. So cellular size is all weight bearing irrespective. But if you're, you're feeling it in the back, again, bending over and just grabbing the frame and tilting back a little bit, you can help feel that 
that stretch in the lower back, I always recommend ending with the gentle twist because it helps restore homeostasis or balance in the body. Um, so it, it's going to be more beneficial. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. Can Grace, all right, Grace, I don't know, Grace is our, uh, our amazing um, trucker who drives 70 hours a week. I just, I talk to her all the time. She's wonderful, just a great, great inspiration. She's helping so many people. Grace um, is the one who trained on the solar size. That was all the training she got and gets um, 30 minutes a day as a truck driver. She tr drives a truck, she says, up to 70 hours a week, but she stops every day, takes her solar sizer out, even if it's alongside the road, and she will do her routine, 30 minute routine. And she has been an inspiration for so many people. And she has people that come up to her all the time saying, hey, you must train for hours. She said, oh, no, I don't have time. She said, I just do 30 minutes a day, and they are blown away. 30 minutes is all on the solar sizer? For the most part, it is. We're going to do a feature story on her sometime. But can Grace share her written workout routine? Well, I can certainly ask her. <laughs> and you can, too. Um, I think I remember, um, you can find her on our website under our customer reviews. You look for Grace. You can see her. I think she's got a Facebook uh, link as well. But yeah, I'll ask about that. <laughs> Thank you, Raji. Betsy says, is there an exercise that you can do on the cellar sizer that can balance your hormones? By the way, I bought my cellar sizer in 2020 at the start of the pandemic to help my immune system via the lymphatic system. I love it and I'm grateful to you for creating such a strong and effective piece of workout equipment. Whenever people say, you look so good, what are you doing? I gladly tell them about the solar sizer. Thank you, Betsy. Thank you for sharing that. And um, yeah, the solar sizer is you gently move up and down over and over and over. You've got the thyroid, the adrenals, the entire endocrine system is going, it's expanding, it's weightless, and then weight, weightless weight over and over so that movement helps to stimulate and balance um, hormones in the endocrine system all throughout the body it's effective uh, there's times where you might need extra help but even then the cellar sizer can be more beneficial at, with that extra help um, to make it more effective so good question thank you Betsy Rivuela writes, and I hope I pronounced that right. How do you become a trampoline instructor? I fell so much in love with this type of training that I don't think I'll ever do anything else but jump. It's toning me up. It makes me feel good mentally too. I find it a fantastic exercise. I'd like to learn to be able to teach it in Italy because it's not very well known here. There's a girl, Rachel, on YouTube who offers courses for instructors, but I wonder if the certification from her country is also valid in Italy. Most certifications that are out there right now really don't have a lot of validity. Some for rebounders, okay, for rebounders. You can learn as much just by reading a book. My DVD, Solar Size the Ultimate Exercise, explains a large degree as to what it is, why it works, shows you how to use it shows you what I do in my 10 minute a day routine and then it has a personal trainer drop down menu that you can use to learn about many of the various different movements so that you can teach those movements. The Mr. Rebounder app, which is just a, a phenomenal tool, is something that we have that you can teach from. And that's, that's one of the things I really, I really like about it. Uh, it's up there now. Okay, that uh, the reason I, I think this thing is so effective is because it has a beginning, intermediate, advanced, senior section. Plus it has 65 different movements so you can create your own routine or help somebody else develop a routine based upon what their particular fitness goals, objectives, or needs may be. So if you're starting off as a senior, 
you've got these various different routines, routines that go from beginning and to more advanced movements. And then as you get better, you can go to the intermediate section and there's quite a few movements in, 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 you know, in, in there as well. The Christine routine, um, many of you remember Christine. In fact, somebody was just talking about um, doing her program earlier today in the chat room, which is, it's a, it's, it's a great routine. And again, you pick an avatar, you can pick a male avatar, you can pick a female avatar, or if you're a child, you can pick a superhero and you, you actually exercise with them. But it, it takes you through all these various different routines and you can see the proper position of the person that's doing it. And it'll keep track of your routines as well in, in, in the calendar. So it's, um, it's a great tool for helping you reach your goals and objectives depending upon what they might be, whether it's the back, whether it's knee problems, whether it's weight loss issues, whether it's just health, whether it's muscle building and toning, all those movements are in, in that, that app as well. All right. Hmm. I'm not sure I can pronounce this one. Ribalula Stella writes, I think it was close. <laughs> if you want to tone up your whole body, it's a good idea to divide your upper body and lower body workouts to alternate days. She's asking the question. Or train your whole body every day and for how many minutes is it more effective? Now, cellar size, you do it every day, several times a day. You are not tearing down to build up. Um, I, there's times where I'd go two and a half. The only thing, <laughs> it burns calories. So you can, <laughs> you can burn a lot of weight if, you're, if you do too much of it. But it's, um, it, it's a phenomenal routine. I, allow the body to build up, which you do when you're cellar sizing. You're working from the inside out. So all the internal organs and the fascia and connective tissues that hold everything in place. You're working, it's weight bearing from inside out, not outside in. It's the whole body. So it takes the body a little time to adjust. And then, yeah, you can, people stay on it for hours. Patricia Taylor says, is cellar sizing great for glute activation? Well, if you're talking about strengthening glutes, of course. Um, this one here will lift, tighten, and tone the whole backside of the buttocks. And that's just tilting forward and kicking your legs out behind you. And as you come down, you, you're, your body is resisting all of that weight. And that strengthens the lower back and the, and the buttocks. If you're talking about digestion elimination, then there's a couple of things that work. And that's this gentle hip rock. You got this colon that comes up, wraps around, comes down again. And guess what this is doing? Wonderful for helping to improve digestion elimination processes, as well as the gentle twist. So you're dealing with all of your uh, intestines there as well. Florin writes, hello, Mr. Dave. Was wondering if you've heard of Jean Kalman. She is a super centurion who lived 122 and attributed this to eating olive oil. My question is, do you think it's possible for people to use a cellar sizer to reach 120, 130 and beyond? I've wondered that too, we're gonna find out. Gee, I'm, I'm still consider myself fairly young. Um, I'll be 67 in a couple months, but um, I haven't slowed down yet. I don't know. I, I, it's a great question. We have people that began in their 70s and they're now in several that are now in their 90s and they're still extremely active and enjoying a great quality of life. We're gonna find out as, as it can continue. So what do you think would happen if one of these people who lived to 122 by themselves would use a cellar sizer. Oh, <laughs> would they live longer? Do you think these people, do you know any people past 100 that are cellar sizing? Yes, yes we do. Oh, gee. Uh, um, yeah, in fact, we've got a lady who was, um, her daughter started off when she was in her 80s. Her, her mom was 100 and, hmm. 104 and celebrated her birthday tobogganing and wrote a whole poem about how the rebounding, how it played such a vital, important part in her life. But we can pull that article on our website. 
Yeah, you can scan and look on our website for people that are in their 90s and 100s. Hello, Mr. Hall. Does the Solarizer help with hair growth or gray hair? I think we answered that last week. Um, and yes, it, uh, I don't know, <laughs> but I'm glad I still have mine. Um, my grandfather, my mom's side, I think I mentioned, was totally bald by the time he was in his 20s. So I don't know why I still have my hair, but I'm, I had Dr. Morton Walker, I think I shared this last time, actually tell me when we were lecturing at a university, he said that he believed that the moving up and down on the solar sizer stimulated the circulation and helped protect the actual um, follicles. So we don't have any research on that yet, but something's happening. I uh, don't know what it is. Okay, we want to talk about balance a little bit today. And then I'm going to also show about some of the techniques, how to do them most effectively on the solar sizer so you can get better results. Okay, so um, balance. We've got two types of balance, real important. In fact, I want this to be a separate section in the video. But we've got dynamic balance and we have static balance. I want you to notice this balance bar is pretty wiggly. Actually, it's that way on purpose. I used to have it even more wiggly. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why. I don't know if you remember when you were a kid or not, but um, I remember this. We could stand up on a fence post. We'd put our arms out to the side and we'd walk across the railing and we were balancing ourselves as we were walking across the railing. That's called dynamic balance. You're using lots of different muscles in the body in order to coordinate them so that you can, you can do that movement without falling off. That's dynamic balance. Now, if I were to step on that same fence post and I was going to walk across the railing and I grabbed hold of a pole, a rigid pole that was in the ground, and I grabbed that and I was walking across the railing, I am no longer using dynamic balance. I'm using static balance. I'm dependent upon the pole. If the bar was totally rigid, people begin to become dependent upon that bar for their balance. If you were to stand on that same fence post and you walk across the railing, if you were to grab a willow branch, the moment you grab that willow branch, your balance just improved dramatically. It's not that the willow branch is going to stop you from falling off, but it's going to improve your balance. That's what the Cellar Sizer Balance Bar is designed. That's how I created it from the very beginning, is so that the, you would be working your dynamic balance. You stand up here, the moment you put your finger on or your hand on it, your balance improved dramatically. If, but it's loose enough so that you're still improving dynamic balance like that willow branch. If you need the static effect of a balance bar or a more rigid effect, all you do is take that your hand, pull it toward you. It just stiffened up. Now, you're more dependent upon the bar, but what will happen without you even knowing it is as your balance gets better and better, you will have less and less reliance upon the bar itself. What does that mean? That means as you go out and you enjoy your normal day-to-day -day activities, your balance begins to improve in everything you do. That's what that balance bar does. Now there's more. Holding on to the balance bar, we can alter the angle of our body in different positions. So as we alter the angle of our body and we do different movements, we're working our proprioceptors. See, the movement up and down moves fluid up and down past the stirrup, the smallest bone of our ear, and it's representing our vestibular balance. That's great. And by the way, it's extremely natural. That balance process is what babies do. The moment they stand up in a crib and they're able to bounce up and down, they don't have balance. We weren't born with balance. It has little or nothing to do with age. It's a physiological function. We have to challenge it. We always have. If we stop challenging or we become more sedentary, uh, we become more tentative, we challenge it less and less, and pretty soon we're more and more susceptible to an injury. But when we start, we start off just like a baby in a crib, they hold onto that bar and they start to bounce up and down and we do the same thing 
we hold onto the bar and we begin to bounce up and down. As our balance gets better, we'll take that in other activities and other movements. Now, when a baby gets better in their balance, they get out of the crib, they graduate to a couch or to a bed. We know it, we've done it, we've seen other kids do it. They jump up and down on the couch or the bed, and what do we do? What do we do, Justice, when they're jumping up and down on the couch? Go jump with them? <laughs> no. <laughs> How many times have I told you to stop jumping on the couch? <laughs> oh, he remembers. No, we, we, we do. We kick kids off the couch or the bed. If we knew better, I suggest that not only would we encourage them to do it, we'd be up there doing it with them. But it's not really good on the furniture. But we can do it on the cellar side. And the moment we start to move up and down, we start to improve again that balance in everything we do. And what happens is as we play, which is what kids do, as we play on the cellar sizer, automatically we will start to begin to do more movements as our balance and confidence level increases. So just standing there and bouncing side to side, it improves. As we're jogging in place and we tilt backwards a little bit, we're becoming strong in, a, in, in this position. Now, tell me any other exercises that do that. There's not really a lot. Gymnastics comes close, but it works differently. When you're on a cellar sizer and you tilt backwards, for most people, if they're in a weakened position right now, they can be pushed over very easily, very quickly. But with a cellar, somebody who cellar sizes, you become strong in an altered position. And that gives you an advantage in everything that you do. I don't understand why people don't recognize the value of what that's going to do compared to typical exercises where you're really not exercising in an altered position. Most solar size you do. And so if you, I'm remembered and I've shared it many times, of the lady who called me up and she was hanging her Christmas lights up. She came to the corner of her house and she has a wrought iron fence that went from her house over to the next yard. And it had all these spikes on it. And as she's reaching around, she knew better, but she was reaching around, hanging these lights up and lost her balance. And she started to fall toward the, <laughs> the wrought iron spikes. And she knew what that looked like. So she leapt, she leapt from the ladder, pulled up, was able to miss the wrought iron spikes. And as she was headed down, she took her arms, put them down and rolled, and she stood up. She immediately gave me a call. She was in her late 50s and she said, David, there's no way I could have done this before solar size. I get it. The things that I do now, there's, there's no way. I mean, the, the simplest things that, and I remember when it really began to hit me is when I was in, and many of you have heard me talk about this, I was in a um, food for less. And I was standing in line and there was a bunch of people with baskets in front of me and we're all waiting and my shoe was untied. I had the basket right here, my shoe was untied. I just, I didn't want to bend down in the store and tie my shoe. So I decided I'm gonna lean on the basket a little bit lift my foot up and I'm going to tie my shoe. So I start to tie my shoe, right? Well, the basket moves and I'm like, I, I just continued to tie my shoe and I was like, wow, I, I wanted to tell everybody. But <laughs> it, it, until you experience it, you really don't know what I'm, what I'm saying. But when you, when you get that balance, and it does improve because you're challenging the balance mechanism, then again, you'll start to take that with you in everything you do. So does cellar size give us a competitive advantage for balance? You bet. Now there's several things we can do. Rocking side to side. You know, we're challenging our proprioceptors and our balance and our brain activity, doing the twist doing some of the different movements that, that we teach on the cellar size or taking the, the elbow and crossing it and hitting the, you know, the knee 
are doing it back and forth. Th these, those are techniques, but they're all challenging our balance. And I want everyone who does a solarizer, I want you to enjoy that and, and experience what that, what that kind of balance can do for you. Okay, I want to take a few moments to talk about, we're real quick, we're almost done justice. Thank you for being there <laughs> through this whole ordeal. It's been great. I mean, this electronics, I was not born in that era. So I appreciate uh, your support. Okay, so starting off, baby bounce. I, <laughs> let me take these off so you can see my feet. All right, so lifting the heels up and down is what we're doing to pump the calf muscle. And so we start to really strengthen that calf muscle by lifting your, your feet up and down. And then the um, rocking side to side, a couple ways we can do this. Um, I'm gonna show you a technique. Th this one is great, no question. Um, this works wonderful. Kicking out side to side, there's a subtle change you can do depending on how much you want to focus here on the, the, the waist and the hips. And that's kicking out side to side like this, but you can do it with your head straight up or you can slightly lean. As you slightly lean, you create more leverage on these muscles. So it becomes, it becomes more effective. Um, the twist is pretty self-explanatory. You just don't need to leave the mat. Just stay on the mat. If you're working the, the um, sacroiliac joint area um, a little bit more and loosening up the hips, it's this movement here where the hips are just straight ahead. When you're doing the jamba walk, the jamba walk is you're on the mat the whole time. You're not lifting your feet up off the mat. You bend at the knee, keep the back straight, push those knees out a little bit and you're pushing down into the mat, just like this. Your feet might come up slightly, but you're not focusing on that. You're focusing on pushing down into the mat. And this is my 19 year old unit, by the way. We all use it, it still works great. Yes. Um, Shauna says, are there any live classes available to join? We have our Mr. Rebounder app. Oh yeah, Stephanie, Stephanie and Sally. Um, Stephanie and Sally have f great live classes and they've been doing this quite a long time. Um, we've had several conversations. They've been very supportive of what I've done. I've been very supportive of what they're doing and they do have um, uh, their, their program. You can look them up. They're probably online. I think Stephanie may have asked some questions tonight, but they've got the live classes. Um, so you have that option and that's great. And then if you, don't want a live class, we've got the Mr. Rebounder app that will take you through a whole routine as well. So you've got, got the best of both those worlds right there. Okay, Jamba Run, similar. Bend at the knee, keep your back straight, push those knees out some. And we have other, we have other people that are also out there doing the solar sizer. And we've had some people that went to the bungee cord unit because they said, oh, how much fun. Didn't get the results, they've come back to the solar sizer and we welcome anybody who wants to join us in the solar size family if you've been on a the bungee cord unit and you not getting the results you want to get you know give it give us a come back or give us a try yes um, says, please let me know how to find the live classes how to find the live classes stephanie sally i hope you're online if you could direct them to what your class is otherwise i will have to find um what their uh yeah do you have it do you have it? We'll, we'll, we'll have to post that, definitely. Thank you. Back straight, feet flat, pushing down. Your, your feet are coming up off the unit a little bit. But this is a jumbo run. You want to keep the back straight so it keeps the weight on the thighs and it builds up the knees. Um, are there any other questions with regards to any other movements is that you might have? that are of concern for you. I've got a mind blank. I know Stephanie and Sally's program. So 
anybody who's watching this, please go ahead and write where it's Stephanie and Sally's um, program. Is it I jump yes, thank you. I jump instead. Yes, that's what it is. Thank you, and thank you for sharing that. Okay. <laughs> huh. Supposed to help with memory too. But anyway, if you have any other questions, let us know. Um, feel free to write and share with us some of your stories that you have. We uh, we're grateful to all of you for the impact you're making in the lives of so many people. I hear these stories every day, and many of you are evangelists. You're out there really helping people turn their their quality of their health and their lives around. So, thank you very much. Thank you for your patience. I'm going to celebrate today. We were able to get on when it looked like we were not going to be able to. So, I want to thank. Uh, Thank again, all of you, for hanging in there. Please share if you like any of this information. Share it with those you care about. And um, yes? Where is it? Where is Jump Instead? Is oh, they're located in California. They're in California. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.